So the path of devotion is the simplest. In its understanding, but when it comes to the question of applying, <laughs> it seems to be little complicated. Just imagine how difficult it is to be surrendered to the Divine or the Father or whatever the devotee is calling all the time, 24-7. How difficult! <laughs> Mantra is simple. Surrendering seems to be difficult. <laughs> Why it is difficult? Because of the existence, coexistence of ego. <laughs> that is why a master is looking into the heart and being of the people in front of them and chooses and prescribes which path will be suitable for a person. He just scans the thickness of the ego. <laughs> Lesser the ego, more the devotion path, bringing results. More the ego, better to choose some other path. <laughs> Not wasting time. Probably path of meditation. Or Tantra. So the point is ego. E-G-O. The barrier. different situations people used to ask me also, can you say what is ego? <laughs> we know that we have some ego but we have no clear idea <laughs> about what is ego. <laughs> to check ourselves, please tell something about what is ego. I used to tell them in a different, different occasions, in a different, different way of understanding of what is ego. But of all these answers, if you would like to understand clearly what is ego, that which comes and goes is ego. Simple to understand about ego. That which comes and goes, that which appears and disappears, is ego. For example, superiority, inferiority, or duality. These ideas of superiority, inferiority, or duality they just appear and disappear. They can't stand permanently. There is no permanency. Changing from one pole to the other pole like monkeys.
For example, the mind. <laughs> what is mind after all? Mind is like a wave. What is a wave? That which comes and goes is wave. <laughs> that which appears and disappears is a wave. Isn't it? When Yogi Ram Surat Kumar says, My father, my father, he ascertained about the permanency that which never comes, never goes, he calls father. <laughs> that is his way of expression of the permanency. We may call divine, we may call existence, we may call it in any name. For me, spirituality is seeking the permanency. Within us, in and out, and both too. That's what is spirituality is all about. In what situation it is possible? Unless we drop the idea of clinging to the temporaries, the moment we drop the idea of clinging to the temporaries, the permanency is realized then and there, here and now. This is what is called detachment. What is detachment? Detached from the temporaries, the mind is creating a fear now. When I detach, what will happen? <laughs> what will happen? You will be in temporary. <laughs> if you cling, keep on clinging. If you drop that, you will be in permanency. This only process going on. The mind is creating such a fear. I have only one holding. If I am leaving that holding, I will be in danger. <laughs> That's why I want to cling all the time. With my mind, with my thoughts, with my emotions. Keep going. Clinging. Attaching. Detachment doesn't mean that we have to be detached from the family, detached from the children, detached from the mother, detached from the father and etc. It's nothing to do with the material. It's something definitely to do with the mental level, an emotional level. Now let us see the two aspects of teaching of Ramana Maharishi as well as Yogiram Surat Kumar. How it works out with this formula. <laughs> Yogiram says, only my father knows. My father only existing. I am not existing. He says, he is also teaching others. 
look at the situation. When I am not existing, I am not as a separate entity here, only my father everywhere. Where is the question of temporariness? How the temporary things will survive there? Because temporaries are variable numbers, permanency is one always. <laughs> there are thousands of thoughts, they are all temporary. There are th several births and deaths and deaths and several waves of emotions. When you look into the temporariness, but when we realize the Permanency, it's always one. <laughs> With one, there is no conflict. <laughs> to create conflict, we need one more extra. <laughs> That's why mind is in conflict. Because there is always one more fighting each other. Divisions, separations, his path, only oneness everywhere, only my father existing, nothing else is existing. Finished. There is no attachment to any temporariness. Because there is no temporary according to him, his path. Only one permanency, that is my father. From dust to aeroplane, they are all my fathers only. <laughs> this is my father. <laughs> there is a question of conflict in such kind of person. There is a question of worry. When the pain is there, it is my father. <laughs> When the cure is there, that also my father. All activities happening in the world is my father's. Where is the question of conflict, good time, bad time, good karma, bad karma, all vanishes in one understanding. Only my father existing, nothing else is existing. Very beautiful path. <laughs> This is for simple people, <laughs> simple heart-oriented people. His teachings will be like a fire, <laughs> it catches just like that. But the other hand, if the person is little complicated in mind, this formula will not work out. First of all, such complicated mind will never accept only my father is existing. No, 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 I am existing. You know, who am I? <laughs> I am a big boss. You know, I am drawing this much dollars in a month. You know, you know my property. You know my power. I am one of the top best powerful persons in USA. You know, how can you say only father is existing? I am also existing. <laughs> I am also existing is a problem. <laughs> Such a complicated mind, his path will not be helpful much. The Ramana path may be helpful. What Ramana says, Ramana Maharishi says, come on, go to your room, sit silently, close your eyes, ask yourself, Self-inquiry, who am I, what am I, where am I, forget about father, <laughs> father is no more for you, <laughs> you are here, you know, at least you understand yourself, <laughs> you don't have to understand father, you understand yourself, you investigate yourself, who, who you really are, who are you, go deep into yourself. 
Is it the body that you or is it the thoughts that you or is it the emotions that are coming and going, is it that is you? What is you? You find out. <laughs> That's Ramana way. <laughs> so what will be the net result? <laughs> it's like it's like peeling off the onion, <laughs> skin of the onion. Take off the onion, outer skin of the onion and one by one, one by one, you take it off. I am not this, I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not this thing, and I am not that thing, that finally where you will end up with. <laughs> right? Finally, one ends up with nothingness. <laughs> yes? That nothingness people call godliness. <laughs> What Yogiram says, father. <laughs> that is father. Father means, in another way of understanding, nothingness is father. Because from the nothingness, everything is coming. <laughs> nothingness is the source of everything. Nothingness. It's fullness. <laughs> when I travel, Europe and also in America, I happen to see certain group of spiritual people using the word mindfulness. Nothingness is mindfulness. <laughs> Ramana's way is this. Come on, sit down. Don't have to. You don't have to believe in Father and God, everything. Forget about it. Only you are existing, fine. You agree that? Yes, I am agree. I know. I am here. Okay. You go and investigate. <laughs> See the homework. <laughs> so, if one starts investigating oneself, I am, the, am I the body? If I am the body, when I am sleeping, my body is no more but I am. <laughs> so I, I can't be body alone. I may be something else deeper than body. That results are coming in. And finally, end up with nothingness. That nothingness is Sachidananta. That nothingness is Satyam Sivam Sundaram. We may call it any name of the highest order, highest level of consciousness. Look at the beauty now. He says that Father, everything is Father, that's all. I have no work to do here. Only my Father is functioning through me. Simple to understand. But application, the mind is not accepting. <laughs> For the mind, Ramana path is very good. <laughs> Investigate yourself. Forget about Father, Divine God, Shiva, Krishna, everything. But both the paths, they are meeting in one point. The meeting point is the same. Vastness, Nirvana, Moksha, experience of Moksha. Let us sit in silence for a while, contemplating this nothingness.